Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jack, all Corns Cocktails, and today we're going to be making something called a Lemoncello Gin Collins. Um, Lemoncello, if you've not heard of it, it's an Italian uh, dessert sort of spirit. I have a thing about dessert spirits, don't I? It's Italian dessert spirit. You sort of get it, you, you'll typically get it when you're in an Italian restaurant. Uh, and especially if you're in Italy itself and uh, after you finish they'll bring you like a shot of limoncello uh, to complement your meal with and yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video this one should be a nice fruity summery cocktail for you and uh, let's get straight into it okay so for the limoncello gin collins just move you guys across a little bit sorry for the limoncello gin collins we're gonna want gonna get limoncello of course you're going to want 100 mils of that. Got a very lemon drop sort of scent to this one. Quite like it, it's very uh, sweet smell. So 100 mils of that. And then you're going to want to get 75 mils of gin. I've used Gordon's today. 75 of that. And there. And next up, you're going to want some mint simple syrup. So as you guys know, I've shown you how to make simple syrup before, or even told you how to make simple syrup before. It's literally just 50 water, 50 sugar, boil it down, and then to make like mint simple syrup, you literally just add mint leaves to the boiling mixture, and you leave it to steep for 30 minutes after. So you're going to want to get. 50 mils of the mint simple syrup that's the mint in there obviously it's okay because we're minting it with garnish anyway and then you're going to want to oh sorry missed a step and then you're going to want 50 mil no sorry 25 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice in there and then you're going to want to top it, top it off with soda water whoa me thinks this one was a bit shaken up before I opened it let's try that again top it up with the soda water like so now before adding our garnishes you're going to want to stir it with a bar spoon for five seconds. Like so. And then for garnish, you're going to want some lemon wheels, like so. Maybe just one actually. It did say two, but kind of makes more sense that we just put one in. And a sprig of fresh mint. There we are, and there you have the lemon cello gin. Okay, cake. now it's time for the best bit of the video, the taste test. And on the nose, this one's got a very lemony, minty, sort of fresh texture to it. It smells very light, actually. Mmm, that's very nice. That's got a very sweet, sort of lemony, sort of taste to it, like a... Uh, lemon drops. So I don't know if anybody's ever had a lemon drop cocktail before. Tastes kind of similar to that in a way. It's sort of, it's sort of like that cross a mojito. It's very nice, very refreshing. Good one for summer. Uh, spring barbecues, out with your friends, out with your family. Yeah, if I, uh, if I had more, a bigger bottle, sorry, of lemon cello, I could see myself making quite a few of these. Um, it's probably a good thing I don't. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this cocktail if it's a nice hot summer's day and you are looking for a nice summery sort of vibe. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy making this cocktail. And I'll see you again in the next one. Catch you later.